Hi, my name is Caitlin Nell. I'm here at Jerry's Music Shop in South Hadley, Massachusetts to talk to you about multiple tonguing on the bassoon. Occasionally, as you become a more advanced player, you will find that you will have to do articulations that are much faster and depending on how well you are able to single tongue quickly, you may find that it's easier to teach yourself how to double tongue. Now what double tonguing is, is it's articulating in the front and the back of the mouth in order to be able to tongue twice as fast. So the syllable that we would use to describe that is ta ka ta ka ta or ta ga da ga da, depending on what's easier for you to conceptualize. The best way to teach yourself how to double tongue is on a scale. So you're going to very slowly articulate first in the front on the reed and then in the back and try and get those two sounds to sound the same, like this. When I do that, I'm actually doing ta, ka, ta, ga, ta. Hopefully, you can't hear a difference. As you get to a point where those two sounds are equally matched, you can start to pick up the tempo and go a little faster. As you become even more advanced, you'll be able to go faster and maybe add in note changes like so. Again, everybody is different. You may not ever have to learn the skill, but if you do, that's the best way to practice it. These skills are applicable in orchestral excerpts such as Beethoven's Fourth Symphony, The Marriage of Figaro, some others. It can be helpful in some pieces of solo repertoire such as the Mozart Concerto, depending on what tempo you want to take. Consult with your private teacher as to how you can best use this skill once you have it mastered.